In this video, we're, we're continuing to work on the Chevy Volt battery, Generation 2. Uh, we're getting it ready to work on our kind of solar off-grid uh, power wall. <laughs> So one of the difficulties is this battery here is 60 volts, this one's 44. To make them match up, I need to cut this bus bar here. I'm going to use this uh, old Dremel tool that my grandfather gave me before he passed. It always makes me feel good when I get to use one of the tools that he gave me. Uh, I'm, I put on a carbide cutting blade. So let's see if this works. Now hopefully I won't short anything out. <laughs> See if there's any connection still. So it's not saying that there's a connection because it's not beeping. <laughs> so this side is going to be completely separate from the other. All right, so this bus bar is now cut using the Dremel tool. And I'm going to put some electrical tape on here. I'm going to wrap it around these bars close to it. Well, I'm drilling some holes in the copper tabs so that I can use a ring terminal to attach a wire. See, I have to fit two of these rings, so I don't want them right next to each other. I'm going to stagger them. One's going to go up here and one down here. Some of you have safety concerns. Well, I'm happy to report that nothing scary has ever happened. Shoot! <laughs> what I have found now after I've drilled a couple is that it's probably better if I wedge some wood in the side. The final drill bit is a quarter inch. Let's go through some of the things that I've been ordering and getting in the mail uh, ready for this project. Uh, starting with some stainless steel hardware. So we have some uh, nuts, bolts, and washers, all stainless steel. The bolts uh, are 12 millimeters long and they're 6 millimeter diameter. The nuts are a serrated uh, flange nut to help with uh, keeping them from backing out. and. Uh, all, these are both 10 millimeter uh, hex heads, so that will keep consistent with the 10 millimeter uh, stuff that's already on the Chevy Volt battery. I also picked up a pack of ring terminals, uh, and these can go on a 10 gauge wire, and they have a quarter inch or six millimeter hole in them, which will line up well with the bolts. I bought a crimping tool uh, just for this purpose. Uh, I bought some 30 amp fuses, a pack of uh, fuse holders, and these have 10 gauge wire coming off from them so that they're good with the 30 amp fuse. Uh, so for these components here, this was 60 bucks. Uh, I already had some wire strippers, and I had some 10 gauge wire left over. If anybody is curious, the Chevy Volt battery itself, I bought for $1,900 plus tax brought the grand total up to $2,033. So I cut a couple of wires uh, for the length that I need and we're just gonna strip the ends. The wire coming out through the end of that ring terminal. And go. And the vinyl insulation is not broken and there's no wire being shown. All right, so I cut two lengths and the longer one is going to jump from this battery to this one. Now when I have the final setup, these are actually going to be on two different shelves, so I probably won't be able to reuse this wire. I might have to make a new one. I'm okay with that, but I want to make sure that everything's testing properly before I go and mount it.
first thing I'm going to do is take the washer, put it on the bolt. That 12 millimeter length bolt works out really nice. I can just barely get it in, but it's not gonna touch this tab or this tab. These are the nuts that actually came on these posts to start with, and I can reuse them here. They're just 10 millimeter. should have total voltage now of 44 volts. Let's try that. This is going to be the main positive. It then goes to the original terminal, down, and over to this tab where I put in a bolt. To that terminal, comes over to this one, across these cells, and then this is the main negative of that battery. And we've got a total of 44.2, just like every other battery now. We've taken the large batteries that were 60 volts and we've successfully broken them down into 44 volt batteries with 12 cells. So now we have a grand total of eight batteries that we're gonna be wiring up. And everything's working. So this is excellent. One big step down was the rewiring and, and we got it. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do it, uh, you know, because these are pretty small tabs to be drilling and putting a bolt through, uh, but we just barely made it. <laughs> hey, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or even suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.